Congratulations on your first feature film. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, Being your first film, did you feel any pressure or nerves in ensuring the story was portrayed as intended? Um, You know, I just don't really think like that. I Mm -hmm. just, um, I'm very clear about what the job in hand is. And for me, it's always about trying to make it as authentic and real as possible and trying to get the balances in the tone of the film, of the mm-hmm. overall story, making sure that, you know, always that arc is very clear. Um, casting the right actors to play these parts, particularly when you're working on a book that has been so successful and has yeah. so many readers, mm-hmm. and so many readers who are so faithful to the book, mm-hmm. you know, they're very protective almost of it. Um, it was really important to me that we tried to strike the balance of giving the fans of the book what they were going to want mm-hmm. but also making a you know an accessible movie to anybody who hasn't read the book yeah um so you know we, we were trying to do the two together good oh well i'm pleased you like it so speaking of casting then when casting did you have anybody in particular in mind or was it kind of love at first sight with amelia it was completely love at first sight with <laughs> amelia um, and i didn't have her in mind at all because mm. i only really knew her from game of thrones and I mean, she's so different in that, which, of course, is what I, one of the yeah. things I love about mm-hmm. that she's had this, you know, very, very different experience. Um, the main thing really was when we got to chemistry reads and we put the two of them in the room together, it suddenly made what had been a very long process suddenly came like to instant. a very abrupt end. Yeah, because very the good. two of them were fantastic together. Mm-hmm. They just have that thing that you can yeah. barely and it describe. Comes across. And it, it really comes does across. come across. It's good. very natural. Um, so you're a very well-respected theatre director. Um, how did you find the transition then from theatre to film? Um, well, so I, you know, I think the main thing I learned a long time ago to surround yourself by the most experienced people you can mm-hmm. and the best people you can. Um, and that's something that I've always taken with me. So I had amazing DP, designer, costume designer, Uh, my assistant director, all of whom were very, very experienced in this field and all of whom really believed in the story and in the story that I wanted to tell. Mm -hmm. Um, So, so long as you do that, you know that you're going to be okay because you are creating around you a team of people who who are going to come with you on that journey and also be there for you to support you in ways when they can bring their experiences. But I can always bring my instinct uh, which at the end of the day as a director that's pretty much all you have yeah. as well as obviously the life experience that you bring mm-hmm. you know up to that moment um, the other thing that I retained on this that was so important to me was was the casting of everybody so just as when I do a play for me the casting is like everybody absolutely crucial yeah. and they all need to be completely <coughs> believable um, too many times I feel like I see even if it's small parts, if they just don't quite, if you just don't quite believe in them, you pop out Mm -hmm. for a moment. Um, So the casting is something that I take a long, long time over trying to get right. Okay, and finally, have you cut the bug then for a film or will you divide your efforts between theatre and film? Um, Definitely divide my efforts. Um, In a way, I can't wait to go back to theatre and bring to it whatever this experience has has gained. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, thank you. Thank you.